Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'll be reviewing Sputnik. So Sputnik is a Russian sci-fi horror thriller film. It takes place during Cold War era space exploration and it follows a cosmonaut who is brought back to Earth to encounter something out there in orbit and it kind of escalates it ramps up a little bit i don't want to spoil a whole lot i'm obviously jumping to a little bit and the story follows a neurophysiologist who's brought in to kind of examine him see what's happening with him maybe dive into so much she's never really given the information it's kind of a classified top secret soviet russia facility and she's brought in there to discover what's happening with him why things are happening the way they are and mainly tatiana i have to admit i may butcher some names while i'm doing this so i have to apologize for that right off the bat the main lead that's played by oksana kinshina is really well fleshed out, in my opinion. I think she is playing someone who's trying to be a little stronger, someone who's not a damsel in distress. She's not your typical, like, survivor girl horror character. She has a lot more to her beneath the surface, and I like that a lot about her in particular. It kind of comes full circle by the end of the film, but I thought her performance as someone who is very stoic, trying to be brave, trying to put on a brave face in this kind of dark situation, and she can tell there's some subtle horror there there's some subtle fear in her eyes and they play that really well she's not screaming running around terrified the whole movie but she is sitting there trying to be strong and trying to stand up against some really terrifying films and some really powerful forces the atmosphere of the film in general i think works on a lot of levels i think they're able to layer in a really good score that helps elevate the film i think the fact that it's filmed in a very dark and like dismal setting helps a lot because there is some blending of computer generated effects when it comes to the creature in the film as well as some pretty good practical effects that put you into that that soviet era russia setting and i always like that when horror movies that may not have the best budget in the world try to kind of mask that a little bit because there are times where you can see a set that's from an indie horror film and it looks really cheap the monsters might look really cheap the costuming might not look up to par but the fact that you're able to kind of hide that behind some darker tones and some more ominous atmosphere really really helps with the overall production of the movie and like i said i really did like the score Score. It helps build an uneasiness and it kind of blends together that Eastern European orchestral music and the pounding percussion and some very hollow, strong strings with some kind of synthy 80s music. So you get that sci fi feel. You always have to have a nice score when you're doing a sci fi or horror film. And as far as it goes with the main character, she has some pretty solid motivation. The story itself is very bare bones. It's probably my biggest knock on this movie is that it's a very simple story. I kind of like my sci-fi films to be a little elevated, driving to some really deep thought ideas of what's happening, you know, with human nature and progress and things like that. And you get that to some degree, but not to a huge effect. It's kind of just a base level story. And I just want to talk about the actual creature of the movie, everything that's happening with the alien. I feel like it happens very early in the movie, so it's not spoiling a whole lot. You kind of know right away what's happening, what's going to happen. I thought it looked pretty good. I think the fact that they use kind of the darkness to shadow it works well. The way it moves is very creepy. It uses really good sound effects. There's a lot of disturbing little sounds the thing makes when it's moving around or when it attacks and things like that. I think that works well. The one thing that the movie I feel like maybe could have dove into a little bit more or I don't know. It just didn't feel like it really went there like it wanted to when it talks kind of about, you know, the Soviet political structure in kinds of ways and why they were doing what they're doing and it's kind of like oh we need to figure out what this thing is and we need to do these horrible things because it's for the greater good these are heroes this is you know the greatest for soviet russia we need to progress these things and do these horrible things and it kind of touches at that like for a little bit at times but i would have liked maybe a little more depth to that and i don't know if it really needed to wade into those waters completely deep but just for me it just there wasn't enough it's just very surface level when it's coming to any of the real themes or actual things that are happening in the movie as far as a directorial debut for e igor abramenko i think it's really solid i think there's a lot there i'd be interested i'd be interested to see what happens if he gets a bigger budget or more time to create like a more masterful movie but i think it's a first shot for a genre that i really enjoy sci-fi horror definitely a solid outing i will say one of my knocks on the movie is actually the ending i didn't absolutely love the ending i do like it has kind of like a full circle nature to it and it's kind of leading along the way and kind of misleading with some of the things that are happening but it just feels very hollow. It feels like it's building and building and building to something. And it never really gets there. And maybe that's the point is to kind of subvert expectations a little bit. But at the end of the day, I kind of wanted a little bit more. It's a nice little to the point film. But I, like I said, for my sci-fi and my horror, I like a little bit of depth to it. You know, it's fun to have these kind of basic things and basic films in these genres. But I do like to have a little depth to it. So if I were to rate this movie, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Very solid, above average. I think it's something that if you're a fan 
of sci-fi horror you would enjoy. I think if you're someone who's interested in this, this kind of interesting time period of, you know, Russian cosmonauts and kind of secrets and kind of playing out an interesting fantasy what would happen with these things. It definitely works on those levels. So if you are going to check out Sputnik or you have already seen Sputnik, let me know what you thought about it. Really surprised me. I wasn't really expecting a lot from it. I didn't know what to get from it. And again, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you guys next time.